So they'll be calling you a radical. This is a very different video than I've ever done before, and this is very emotional. I'll probably start to cry in this video. I started thinking about it this morning, and I did start to cry. First off, I want to say thank you to all the young, beautiful swimmers in the United States and around the world who are paying tribute to Rikata Iki. The, I mean, thank you to these young women that started this. You know, they stood on the metal platform here in the United States in the, you know, the Olympic trials are going on right now around the world. Now, look, the Olympics are corrupt as hell, they're whatever, but look, the pure sports, swimming, jumping, running, Bob Beam and Blanche, the purity, we, there's nothing more beautiful. Rakata Iki's the greatest athlete maybe in the world right now. So she's dying of leukemia. She has AML. This is, look, I know where she's at because I was in her exact place in 2012. Exactly. I know where she's at right now. She's in the depths of hell. She's in the depths of the throat. She's going in and out. She's sucked up to nothing. I was there. I got leukemia in the fall of 2011. Went in the bone marrow transplant on 11, 11, 11. Chemo in my jugular vein. He was, oh, don't use chemo. It's a hell mirror. It's AML. It's fucking the beast of the evil of the evil. And anybody that doesn't think that Rakata Iki's cancer is not from Fukushima meltdowns, full. she was born on 4th of July, 2000. What a metaphor. 10 years old, Fukushima happened. Tokyo got hammered. She lived in Tokyo. She lives in Tokyo. Greatest athlete in the world. Six gold medals at the Asian game. Two silver. I mean, you look at those pictures, she's a beast in that, uh, so am I. I'm a beast, do not kid yourself. I remember when I went into the bone marrow transplant center, they said to a line, they said, this is an evil cancer in your guts. Misdiagnosed bone marrow biopsies. They're like, you pick through that upper body, you're strong. You're gonna need every fucking bit of it. You see pictures of her now, I've seen it, she's this big around, that's why I got. I went from 170 to 119. In so I could count down the days. She's been radically chemoed in her jugular vein multiple times. It's time for the transplant. My guess is she's had the transplant. Has it worked? I don't know. But when I see these girls inside the surfing, swimming community paying tribute to her, I know they know. It's circulating through. We were out at the Olympic training facility yesterday shooting these. I was given two months to live. 94 months ago. This is a brutal, wicked fucking war. I think people have no idea. I was too sick for a bone marrow transplant, so I walked the whole coast of California dying. This is so intense, you have no clue. You have no clue. You know, I'm a big juicer. I do my stick. This should be the biggest fucking story on the face of the earth. This should be the biggest story in the world, bar none. The leukemia outbreak that's in Japan, the clinic, it's being covered up, it's being squashed. So I wanna say this to Rakata Iki, and I hope it gets to her. I've been there. I got your back. I got your back. When I was in that bone marrow transplant, and there was 44 of us, Paul, Carla, you can look at Marshall Jensen. He's in the room next to me. I watched them all die. I watched this beautiful fight. The greatest fight in human history. Going in and out of a coma, no pigment in your eyes, blisters on your tongue. You go without food and water. She said, I can't wait to maybe survive and be able to eat. You can't eat. They put you on a bag. They keep you on a line. It's blood cancer from head to toe. It's caused by nuclear fallout. Anybody who's not awake on this fucking story can rot in fucking hell. This is the greatest story in the fucking world. What are the odds of the greatest athlete in Japanese history to Chani 20 fucking... And by the way, I am the world record holder. I am the world record holder. Kevin Bob Beeman fucking Blanche. Mexico City 68. Fucking 72. Fucking Mark Spitz. We know what happened there. How about 76, Bruce Jenner, fucking the Sphinx Brothers, fucking Sugar Ray. 19 fucking 80, 84, we fucking poured 2020. A 
Kariki, the AML Leukemia Games. Dead Tide Pool Jumping, the Leukemia Games. Thank you to you young women who did this. I understand, I mean, the, the competitiveness, I was, I was a middle distance runner when I was a kid. I loved it, the pure fucking sport, because the politics and time team sports, you don't have to deal with that. You win. That's why I loved running. That's why I like wrestling. That's why I like jumping. There's no fucking bullshit. It's you and them. That's what swimming is. You know? There's no politics. She just beats it. You know, so let's pray to God that she does not die. I mean, this is, we need her. We need her. And the way you fucking survive this disease, I don't, that's a 1% survival bracelet. ML Denuvo I had. Chemo war at Mark Bob, I had open heart surgery two years ago. Fucking ruined my fucking golf ladder. Oh, don't you, why would you not use both? I'm a big juicer. People say, oh, this is how you survive. People should be asking me. It's like my doctor says. He says, I've been an oncologist for 40 years. Kevin Wentz, you're the biggest fucking miracle in my career. I'll tell you how you survive. You fight, you fight, you fight to intensely spiritually fight but you fight back against the fuckers that gave it to you. You stand up to the fucking nuclear energy fucking crime scene at this fucking beast, you will live. Rakata Iki, she knows. I know for a fact because I've talked to people that know her. She knows. I got your back. Stay in tune.